Hi guys! How is everyone? Welcome to the live stream, guys! Today is Sunday, July 25th, 2021. I just want to welcome you all. Let's see who's here. Hi, Val. Welcome. So, guys, uh, if you can see me and you can hear me fine, just um, let me know on the comment section. Yes! Oh, my God, guys. This week went so fast. You know, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful day today in Portland, Oregon. It's like it's going to be like 90 degrees, but it's nice and dry. Uh, as you know, on the West Coast, uh, there's a big drought, and everything is very uh, <clears throat> everything is very dry. So in Oregon, they have uh, for, uh, prohibit everyone doing like uh, camping fires or, or doing any kind of uh, cooking at, uh, outdoors when you are in the park. So uh, also on the campgrounds, they don't allow any fires. So it's very dangerous right now. There's a huge fire burning in Oregon right now, and so far it hasn't uh, arrived. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen the effects uh, from the smoking here so far. So, I mean, let's pray that uh, the weather brings some rain soon, and yeah. So, hi, Mr. Wonderful. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Chantel, hi, Mirna. Hi, everyone. Yes! Oh, my God. Let me just pull you guys a little bit forward this way, okay? Let me just okay guys so this week i haven't done really that much because you know i'm working with soy bliss candles uh so as you know we have to cure the candles for two weeks so that's something that we have to uh wait but you know me i'm very uh, impatient so i always like <clears throat> make the candles and i always like uh just i cannot wait two weeks so right away i just want to do them in the, i just want to do the ht test let me just bring this forward a little bit more is that better yes so let me show you guys. Let me show you because I have done so many. Uh, I'm so happy with the way this uh, wax is, is working out for me, guys. Uh, I have two official candles that are approved for production. So let me show them to you. The first one is uh, the to uh, tobacco base candle. And this one I made on, on July 10. So it's been uh, two weeks. So this one I already ran uh, an HD test, and guys, I'm telling you, are amazing. Hi, chocolate. How are you? I know, I know. Uh, Soy bliss is out of stock. I'm uh, just, I'm telling you, it's gonna come back soon. Don't worry about it. Okay, just, just keep waiting and just, just um, nothing we can do. You know, it's like a lot of supplies. It's been out of stock for for many times, for a long time. Like for example. I need to get this. I need to get these wicks because this is these are the ones that I'm using for these candles because all I have is two left. So I call. Uh, I spoke to Jeff Stanley to see if he could uh, expedite the order. So he said absolutely. He's gonna put them on uh, on the mail today for me. Okay. So this is the first one, guys. This is a tobacco-based candle. <sighs> this one is gonna give me life. It, this one is gonna give me. Uh, this is gonna be one of. Uh, huge sellers i like it because it's potent it's like on your face you know it's like a macho candle which is like i love so yes and chocolate yes finally you caught a life so this one has one ingredient that makes it magical and i tell you guys when you mix two oils try to put a third one a tiny bit of it and to make it special and that's what i did with this candle so this, this one is going to be candle number one this one is going to be huge hi alex how are you okay guys don't forget to give me likes on the video because that's how my uh, the channel grows if you could please thank you so much okay the second candle that is approved for my line I've done so many testings, guys. I've spent so much time uh, formulating this. And uh, finally, I got a floral candle. And this one I also made on, on the 10th, July 10th. And this one is floral base. Okay. What I love about this flower uh, base candle is that it's not, it's not flowery. It's not like a bunch of roses and you know, uh, wedding like, or, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's more sophisticated than that. And I'm going to tell you the secret ingredient whenever you want to make a sophisticated floral candle, smoked vanilla. 
Smoke vanilla is the trick. You're gonna make it more sophisticated. You're gonna cut through the uh, flowery note and you're gonna make it more robust and more uh, expensive, okay? So this is my second candle for my candle romance, approved. Again, I'm waiting for the, for the, for the weeks to arrive in order for, to start production. But before I start production, I'm gonna be a power burn. Power burn, power burn meaning I'm gonna make like a 10 hour power burn and see how the, the candle handles uh, the week. So, and I also want to test it to see how long uh, the candle will last. Okay. Hi, Henrietta. Any questions? Alex, okay. It's not powdery, flowery. No, I don't like that. I don't like pow pow powdery, flowery uh, scent. I just want something to have a uh, body, you know? It's like... It's like, you know, when you add chocolate to, to coffee, that you get that extra flavor in the background, that's what adding smoked vanilla does to, to flowery, okay? It's not powdery at all. Okay, let me, let me just bring uh, the vanilla. I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna go get it. Coming. Okay. So this is my favorite vanilla, guys, from the flaming candle. I mean, yeah. So try getting this. The reason why I like this is because it smells more sophisticated. It has the smokiness in the background. It's not sweet. It's not sweet at all. Uh, it's very, very uh, sophisticated, like I told you. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's very romantic. I, I did not get any oils, Henrietta. The last two oils that I got were from the Wooden Week. I think I, did, I showed them to you guys last week. These are the, oil, the, the two or, oils that I got and that I'm testing. Somebody recommended these two, so I, this, this one, I got these two. So I'm testing two candles out of that because uh, my subscriber, the one who recommended those, so I tested these two candles on the twenty first on the twenty uh, on the seventeenth of July. So this are, this is the one. These are the ones. So what I did is I mixed them together, one to one. These two, one to one. Okay, and I use ten percent fragrance load on this. And I have to say, guys, if this gives me the HT that I'm hoping for. Uh, I'm making this candle on my line too, okay? Because this is amazing, guys. It smells so, so different from anything else that I smell. Uh, it don't, I don't smell uh, the tobacco at all. I smell the background of the of the saffron. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, wait another week and then I'm gonna run another uh, HT test because uh, I did run and I did make a very short HT test, but it's not fair for me to judge this candle if you don't give it a uh, uh, the time that it takes to cure. So, yes, beautiful candle, guys, this one, beautiful. I'm very happy. And what I did, I took, I took these two oils and I added two different tobacco scents for this. I added two different tobacco uh, scents, which I'm not gonna say because I'm gonna be using this for my candle line also. So I don't wanna uh, give you my, my trade secret. And this one is out of this world. I, I like it because it has the background of those two oils, but I like the tobacco to come through more. And this is it. It's beautiful. Again, I have to wait another couple of weeks to do a decent HD test. So, so I'll, be letting know, I'll, I'll be letting you know about this, the results from this. Yes, Chantel. I love the candle maker stores fragrance oils. They have excellent oils. Very, very nice. Okay, let's see. And you guys remember that I um, I was playing with oils. I was playing with a, with a candle. I wanted to make like an aromatherapy candle uh, using rosemary. So uh, by using 8% fragrance oil, fragrance load, uh, 
I was not able to get a, do a good uh, CT. So what I did is I remelted the whole candle and I added uh, more oil. I added more of the rosemary oil, guys. And I'm telling you, now it's coming right through, okay? But I have to wait. I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks also to uh, burn this one also. Okay, but this one is, I'm very happy with this one. So this one, if it works out, it's also gonna be on my candle line. This, this one is gonna be like an aromatherapy uh, candle. So yes, I'm telling you guys, I'm very happy with the results that I'm getting with Soy Bliss Wax. I know it's out of stock. You know, I recommend when it comes back in stock that you guys uh, grab uh, a big a big amount. I mean, that's what I did. I grabbed 90 pounds. So, because I knew that was the wax that I'm gonna be using for my line. So, and I didn't want to run out. So guys, do you have any questions? Yes, chocolate shy. Yeah. The candle maker store makes beautiful, uh, but let me show you which one is one of my favorites. Let me just go get it. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm showing you my favorite ones, but one of the candles that I'm experimenting, but it's taking me a long time to perfect, is a candle using this. This is my favorite oil from, from, the, from the candle making store, guys. Oh, okay. I will light it up. I'm gonna light up the uh, the citrus. Actually, no. I'm gonna light. I'm gonna light up the the floral. The candle does proof. I don't want to light up the other one because they're still curing. But uh, the floral one, I'm gonna I'm gonna light up. So this is. Look at the flame. It's very thick flame. It's very sophisticated, very expensive looking. This is what I want my candles to be, to have this beautiful flame. Okay. So let's, let's go back to... This is very strong, guys. You have to be very careful because Believe it or not, I think the real stuff is in here. When I smell it, guys, oh my God. I think it does have the real thing inside. Oh my God. It makes me laugh. That's why I, that's why I think they have the real thing inside. Okay, I marijuana and vanilla, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me get a tester, let me see. Let me just get a fragrant tester, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's play the fragrant testing again. So this one, Okay, Chantel, it has the bottom of the of the hemp plant. It's not TH, THC. I don't know what THC means. I'm not familiar with the with the plant. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Okay, so these are the new fragrance strips that I got from Amazon. So let's start playing with the fragrance oils, and let me see if I can come up with a nice. 
Mary Jane Candle. Let me get a pen. Okay, I don't need this now. I don't need this. Okay. Let me. Okay, so I'm gonna pick. Have any of you made a candle out of these guys? Oh, the THC, what makes me high. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try also one of these. Smoke vanilla, and let's see what, let's see what I think about. Okay, guys, a few of you guys told me last week that you were gonna send me candles so I could try them up for you to, to, see, uh, to give you my opinion. Uh, remember, if you're gonna send me something on my PO box, send me an email on my Candle Romance uh, email so I can so I know because I don't go to my PO box unless I, I get notified that something is coming, okay? So let's see, vanilla. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Oh my God. It's so strong. I love it. I love it. And the vanilla is so, uh, so calming, you know, it's like, it doesn't go at all. No. Um, it's like they are uh, fighting with each other. Uh, the marijuana is very aggressive, wants to punch you. And the, and the smoke vanilla, uh, just, it's just walking away. It's, the, the, the smoke vanilla is telling marijuana, get out of my way, I don't wanna know anything to do with you. That's what is, this is what I'm getting, okay? This is like an, an abusive uh, an abusive couple, you know, like the, uh, the man is hitting the woman and the woman says goodbye, bye Felicia, and she goes her merry way. Marijuana is too macho, it's too macho. Oh, yeah. That's my take on this, but I wanna see if I can find, I'm gonna try this one and mix it. And let's see how it does with, the, with Mary Jane. Let's see, come on. Rosemary Sage, because Rosemary Sage is an, an aromatherapy. It's like going to the therapist and telling you, calm down, calm down. Okay. You know what, guys? I think everything in life should be just take it, no, just make fun of it. You know, it's don't get too serious. It's like, if one doesn't work, just keep going with the other one. It's like, it's like, a, it's like when you meet a guy, you know, if you don't like this one, there's plenty more for you to choose. Okay, Rosemary says, here we go, darling. This one is strong too, in a good way. This one is more aggressive. Okay, come on, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, this one is working out. This one is working out because they have, they have, they are aggressive. They are like on the same path. It's like putting two uh, fighters in uh, on the same ring, you know, and and just one is kicking one on the face, the other one is kicking you on the on the other on the other cheek. Um, okay, so this one is giving me energy. Uh, so it needs something to be on, a, it needs a, a referee. The two fighters, they need a referee in the middle, okay? So let's see if we can find uh, a middle ground for this, okay? So let's see. Okay. Let's try this one, white tea. No, tea is very calming and, and it's also a, a, a herb. Oh, thank you, you like the rings, guys? Thank you. This one, let's have some tea because tea is very calming and I think it's gonna help in this mix. 
A share orchid or cashmere? Yes. That's a good idea. Excellent idea. Okay, so let me try the uh, the white tea. I wanna make like an herbal herbal candle, and this one is gonna be it. White tea is one of my favorite uh, fragrance oils from from Candle Science. Have you guys tried this? Have you mixed it with something else? Let me know. Okay, so let's see. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna take Mary Jane. Mary Jane and Rosemary again, together. Good combination, strong. Strong as hell. Let's take the white tea and put it in the middle. Okay. No. It's making it too, too potent and it's, it's rejecting. It, it's too strong for my nostrils. I'm getting like, I'm, I'm about to sneeze. So it's, it's too much. So now let's see if I take the white tea and marijuana. Let's see how I like this. Okay, guys, we. Okay. I'm liking this better than the rosemary sage. I think uh, gardenia uh, with this, I try. It's not because gardenia is also a very strong scent. And in marijuana, it, it, it's like marijuana is like a kryptonite. Kryptonite with Superman. I don't know if you guys know what kryptonite is. Whenever it came to Superman, it just like fell over. Do you guys remember Superman? Okay, so so marijuana is kryptonite. Okay, so this one, white tea and marijuana, it's giving me life. Okay. Let me see if I can find. Okay, what do you guys recommend? Cedar musk. Okay, I'm gonna go get. I have a cedar blank fragrance oil from Candle Science that is out of this world. Let me go get it, guys. You're giving me so much ideas now. Let me just go get it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this one, this one is out of this world. You should give it a try. Just buy a small sample, guys. Okay, so let me just make a strip out of this one. And when I perfect the, the, the formulation, I'm gonna take a, a, a glass vial and I'm gonna put them all together. Let me just make. Okay. I don't think lavender, I don't think I would like lavender with marijuana. I mean, for me. I mean, who knows, maybe it's good. Okay, so here we go, guys. Cedarwood blank. <sighs> Beautiful. I love the woodsiness. That is not a, it's not as woodsy, but it's, it's the the deep the deep cedar cedar wood. Okay, let me with marijuana. A dragon's blood. It's my. My friend me, I don't like that at all. Okay, uh, marijuana is too overpowering with, with, with this woodsiness too. It's like marijuana, it has to be used like maybe at the background 
uh, it's it's too overpowering, guys, and I'm not liking it because of, because of that. You know, it's very hard for me to really um, deal with it. Cedarwood blank and white tea. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, this is amazing. These two together. Uh, can you read? These two together are a hit made in heaven, guys. You want to try this, this combination? You're going to love it from Candle Science. I'm going to make a candle out of this. Wow. Yes. And I'm going to add some smoked vanilla. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Okay. Guys, you have to make this candle. This is amazing. Smoked vanilla from the flaming candle. The white tea and these two from Candle Science. This is amazing. Amazing. You know what? I'm gonna just put it on a vial. I'm gonna put it in a vial and I'm gonna smell it tomorrow. And I'm gonna see how oh my god. This is amazing, guys. These three together. Wow. Okay, so I got like I show you guys. I love using the vials in here. I just flip, put the name facing out. The name facing out. And the next one. The name facing out. And you close it. And you smell it tomorrow. Okay, you smell it tomorrow, but you have in here a formula. So this one's gonna be amazing. Amazing, I'm pretty sure. Beautiful. Okay. So now you see guys why I'm having a hard time mixing this with something else. You know, it's just it's too potent, you know. The only thing I can think of is just make a candle out of this. Let me try orange blossom. Let me try orange blossom. This one is a, from all the orange blossom that I try, guys. This is the one that I'm using for my candle, and it's the one from the candle maker store. It's the only one that I like the most. So let me make a a fragrance strip. Okay, and you know what, guys? I'm gonna make also a fragrance strip using gardenia, like what Mirna suggested. Okay, so I'm gonna take orange blossom. I'm gonna get uh, the gardenia uh, oil. I'll be right back. My favorite gardenia oil. This is amazing. Beautiful. So I'm gonna make a fragrance strip out of that one. It's from Candles and Supplies. It's my favorite gardenia. It's amazing. Okay. Okay, let's hope this works. So let's take Mary Jane. Let's take Orange Blossom and let's see how they smell together. You know why it's not bad? It, it uh, the Orange Blossom, uh, it's taming down the uh, the mary uh, the marijuana, but it's still too overpowering. So let's add the gardenia to this. I'm gonna add gardenia and marijuana together, and I'm gonna take out the orange blossom. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the marijuana. I'm gonna pu push it far away, and I'm gonna put this forward more. 
So I, I get a hit of the gardenia more stronger than the marijuana. Let's see if that works. Wow. If this one smells really nice. Mirna, this is this is good. Very good. Okay, let me just add the orange blossom to the mix. And I'm gonna add it at the same height as the gardenia because as you know, orange blossom is very soft. So let's see how this works with this. No, I don't like the orange blossom with this, this flower here. Let me add rosemary and sage and see how that works now. No, too much. Okay, so these two together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna add more oil. Let me just, I'm gonna make another vial but I'm gonna put much more oil on the gardenia strip. So, so I added double the amount of oil to marijuana. So that's where I'm playing with the ratio now. And I'm gonna take another glass vial. Guys, you must get this. This is the best thing to test. Okay, so I'm gonna add the gardenia to the vial, so you know it's gonna be, the most prominent smell is gonna be gardenia, and I'm gonna take Mary Jane, marijuana, and I'm gonna put it right across to it. Okay, so this is my other formulation, two to one, okay? Let me smell them. Wow. Okay, this is very nice. Okay, I don't have any fruit. I don't have any fruit uh, or uh, orange vanilla. This one's gonna be good, guys. I had the feeling this one is gonna work out because you you get the smell of the of the marijuana, but the gardenia is so uh, also robust that it it, it balances it out the the strong of the marijuana. So I'll. I'll see you tomorrow. So I have these two new, new candles, guys. If I like them, if I'm gonna smell them tomorrow, if I like them, I'll make a candle and I'll show them to you uh, on next Sunday's live stream. So let me just make a note of that. So. Two to one ratio, and the other one is one to one smoked vanilla. White tea. And cedarwood blank. Okay, one to one. Okay, so this is how I write the formulas, one to one, okay? Uh, orange blossom and fig. I've done already an orange blossom and fig. Um, fig to me is very, I like it or hate it depending on the mix. I, I mix it up with orange blossom and I didn't like it at all. I try mixing that also with uh, fig with uh, cashmere and amber and I don't like it. I don't know why. So, I mean, and I have so many different figs. So, I don't know. I mean, if you know of a good fig uh, scent, or let me know. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Okay, so I'm gonna just end up the, uh, the live stream here, guys. If you don't have any questions for me, I just, Wanted to see you all, how you all doing, you know? And also guys, um, I did this, I'm just going off topic a little bit, I did these highlights this week. So if you wanna know how I use a technique that I use using a comb, go check out my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael, and that I post videos on uh, 
my life in Portland in here. I do car vlogs, you know. I talk about uh, my life in Portland, about dealing with depression, about dealing with uh, different issues. So go check it out. I have, the links are on the description box below of the video. Soy hemp. Uh, yes, Henrietta, the candle maker store are one of my favorite fragrance, fragrance stores. But now that I'm trying the soy bliss wax, I want to try different uh, oil. I have so many oils in there, guys, that I want to give them a chance. You know, I don't want to keep buying and buying and buying and just I keep uh, adding more to, to, to what I have. So I just want to see what I have and I just give them a second chance and see whether or not uh, it works better using uh, the soy bliss wax. And I'm also waiting for uh, the, the wigs from Jeff Stanley to start making my candles. What are my favorite fragrances from the candle maker store? Oh my God, it's this one, this one. This one is the other one, Limoncello. Of course, this one. This one, Orange Blossom. I mean, there's too many for me to, to mention, but again, uh, you know what, guys? Uh, fragrance oil is something very personal. I think it's like buying a perfume. You know, when you buy a perfume, uh, you may like the perfume, the other person next to you may not like it. You know, it's like, it's a prefer, um, it's a choice. You know, you just, just try, you just have to try and mix them, you know, together and see if you get the results you want. You know, I may get some fragrance oils that you may hate, you know, it's like, I like wine and roses also from uh, the kind of makeup store, but it's too strong for me. And so I need to find a balance, you know, it's not like, to me, making the perfect candle is like finding a balance within the fragrance oil. You know, that's why you have to play with the ratios. That's why I like to mix uh, this one, smoke vanilla, when I do a, a, a candle, you know, because it, it tames it down. So it's just a matter of uh, just experimenting and see what formula you like uh, for yourself the most, the best. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the, the live stream here, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you for coming and don't forget uh, to give me more likes. And guys, I'm gonna uh, post this later on. As you know, uh, the live streams take around uh, like around eight hours to uh, to update on the channel because they have to check for uh, for ads and stuff like that. Okay, guys. So I'll see you on on next Sunday. I don't know what day that's gonna be. Anyway, I'll, I'm gonna send you a, a post on my on the community uh, on the community in my channel. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you for coming. Yeah.